East County churches vandalized overnight, but what authorities are calling hate speech. Graffiti left outside the walls with graphic messages written by vandals who have yet to be identified. News 8's Monique Riego has more from El Cajon with what we know so far and the effort to clean it up. This would be a disturbing incident for any faith organization to go through. Obviously waking up to this type of graffiti right now. They are still cleaning it up. Parishioners rallying together to make sure everything is gone. They just don't want this type of hate around their church. It was honestly very confusing because you would see a swastika, you would see a pentagram, you would see an upside down, down cross, you would see BLM on the ground, you would see Biden 2020. It was very, very confusing as to what these criminals were trying to achieve in defacing our cathedral. A horrible act of vandalism is what those at the St. Peter's County and Catholic Cathedral woke up to today. Shocking graffiti with spray painted images on their walls and on their floors outside of the church. The images were told included swastikas and political messages. Now we have blurred the video to ensure we don't promote any vandalism or threatening ideas. Now as parishioners rallied together this morning to get the graffiti cleaned up and washed away, we learned from the sheriff's department that another church had also been vandalized. Near El Cajon Boulevard, deputies say our mother of perpetual health was also vandalized with swastikas. The sheriff's department said in its release it has no tolerance for hate crimes and this is a very active investigation. And as for people who attend the church, this was a shocking and really unbelievable incident. My reaction, it gave me goosebumps. I've never seen something like this and we do not deserve this. This is not our church to be deserved like this. This is church of God. First and foremost, I would like to inform them that we're all praying for them, you know, praying for their conversion and repentance in this very sinful act. You know, it's very despicable, this thing that they did, but also to repent, you know, to turn towards God because this thing that you did, it's not worth it. It's not worth your soul. And the San Diego County Sheriff's Department is investigating. We are told there is surveillance video of what happened, but right now the department is keeping that secure to protect their investigation. Monique Riego, News 8.